Welcome to your Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to find an exact value using a variation of the SARC method. So we actually want to find the secant of 450 degrees. And the reason that we're going to use a variation or a simplification of the SARC method is because we're dealing with a special type of angle here. Uh, 450 degrees, we'll see in a moment, is called a quadrantal. Um, and all that means is that its terminal side falls on an axis. So we don't have to worry about sketching out triangles and remembering the properties of the special right triangles to get the coordinates. We can simply look, see which axis our angle's on, um, and then we'll know the coordinates right away since we're on a unit circle. Okay, so SARC will simplify to S and C, the first step and the last step for all quadrantal angles. So let's see how that actually works out. Here's our template for quadrantal exact values. The S is to sketch the angle, we'll sketch the terminal side and get the coordinates. And then the C is for calculate. So we'll do this for the secant of 450. So to start sketching our angle's terminal side, we see our angle is positive. We know we're rotating in the counterclockwise direction. And we also see it's more than 360 degrees. So we know we have more than one rotation. And in order to sketch this more easily, it'll be great to find a co-terminal angle. Um, and all that means is an angle that shares the same terminal side, but it has less rotation. So we're just going to subtract 360 from 450. Okay, so anytime you want to find a coterminal angle, either subtract 360 or add 360 if that works for your situation, as long as you're in degrees. All right, so we have a result of 90 degrees, and we can see that 90 and 450 degrees are coterminal. They share the same terminal side. So now we can go to sketch, and of course, sketching 90 is very easy. Here's zero, a quarter rotation is 90 degrees. So here's our terminal side for both 90 degrees and the angle in consideration, 450 degrees. Okay, if we were sketching that, we would just draw an extra rotation, but all we want here is the terminal side graft. All right, so now that we have this sketch, we can label the coordinates. Remember, we're on the unit circle. Here's the origin, the radius. So this distance here is one. So all we did was move up one from the ordinate, uh, the origin, excuse me, and so our coordinates are 0, 1. Now that we have our coordinates, we're ready to calculate. So whenever you're finding the secant of an angle on the unit circle, we're going to calculate with 1 over x, because secant is just the reciprocal of cosine, the x. And so we start our calculation. We have 1 divided by our x-coordinate, 0. Oh, red flag. We know that can't happen. You cannot divide by 0. So we're going to say our result must be undefined. So the secant of 450 degrees is undefined. Um, and that would be the case for the secant of 90 degrees or the secant of any other angle that's coterminal with these. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out more worked examples and other unit circle help uh, with the links in the video description.